Fresh data suggests that the Bitcoin ATM network is shrinking. How alarmed should we be about this? Welcome back, everyone. That's right. That's right. Somehow at the beginning at, at the beginning of the bull market, right? Where where all of a sudden the US, the US ETFs are live, Hong Kong's going live, there's all this activity. Guess what? Guess what? Just like every previous cycle, here comes the FUD. And of course, right, while there's all this rosy news. Lo and behold, the global Bitcoin ATM network shrinks amid U.S. shutdowns. Oh, that's it. It's over. Pack it in. Okay. Anyways, let's dive into this. Let's dive into this, and then we're going to provide some uh, a different take, right? Like, we're going to zoom out a little bit and, and see, is, is the ATM network really shrinking? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, so here we go. The reason why the 10-month-long global crypto ATM growth streak has ended so abruptly might not be far-fetched. The United States and Canada host the largest share, about 91% of the world's Bitcoin ATM network. That is according to data from CoinATM Radar. The U.S. is home to about 30,960, or 82.6% of the machines, while Canada hosts 2,989, or 7.7% of the machines. Law enforcement agencies in the U.S. have recently been clamping down on these Bitcoin ATMs, especially those frequently used for extortion and scams. So um, I, I just want to point out uh, an ATM, right? Like it, it's a tool, right? It's the same way as Bitcoin, right? Like it, it has to do with the person and what they're using it for, right? Like that, that's what makes that, that's what makes the difference. So it, it's just interesting the way that they frame that, right? That that they're clamping down on the Bitcoin ATMs, especially those frequently used for extortion and scams. So in other words, this has nothing to do with Bitcoin. What it does have to do with, though, are these specific ATMs in these specific locations um, that are used disproportionately for nefarious for nefarious things. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. That's just it, it's it's always again right. It's always to protect you, right? Like. It, the government, right? The um, the agencies that they're always just taking things away from you to protect you. Anyways, so no less than 300 Bitcoin ATMs have gone offline so far this month. As of the publication, the U.S. market has lost 302 Bitcoin ATMs, while 28 machines have gone offline in Canada. Australia hit the milestone of a thousand Bitcoin ATMs to become the third largest host. Since then, the country has added about 41 machines, bringing its total network to 1,041 machines. This accounts for 2.8% of the global total. So despite the reductions in North America, the new installations in Australia, Switzerland, and various European countries have provided some balance to the global network. In brackets, this is a giant nothing burger. The recent decline in Bitcoin ATM numbers raises questions about the future stability of the global network. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Particularly if law enforcement crackdowns intensify. Yes, Yes, law enforcement will crack down, right? They will they will crack down on the ATMs. That's that's it. Okay, like all that's going to happen is is that the ATM at that location will get shut down, and a other ATM in another location will appear. Anyways, the ongoing the ongoing growth in other regions suggests that the overall demand for Bitcoin ATMs remains strong. The global Bitcoin ATM space is likely to continue adapting to regulatory pressures while also expanding in regions with growing demand for cryptocurrency services. So let's take another look at this, right? While this article spelt gloom and doom and explains how, oh my gosh, that's it. The Bitcoin ATMs have run their course now that we're going to have less and less of them. Well, let's zoom out a little. They specifically cited the site Coin ATM Radar. So I went there to go take a look myself. The link to this is going to be in the show notes in case you guys want to go take a look at the stats that they have. So let's start off here with the Bitcoin ATM installations growth worldwide. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be shrinking. That doesn't seem to be shrinking. Although, although somebody might make the case to say, oh, well, we've we've topped out right now. You know, maybe maybe we've topped out right now. Okay, yeah, I guess a case could be made for that. But I, I think in terms of the long-term picture, uh, I think it's looking pretty good. It still seems to be up. 
and to the right. All right, moving on, we've got the crypto ATM supported currencies. I mean, obviously, we're not really surprised, right, that Bitcoin is number one. Okay, like that's that's no surprise whatsoever. Let's take a look at the ATM growth by manufacturer. Now, again, there's less and less ATMs. Why, why is this still up and to the right? Hmm. It's interesting when you zoom out how the uh, the nuanced noise that uh, people try to amplify as being very significant when you zoom out that that noise kind of just becomes a a whisper almost like it doesn't even exist almost like it doesn't matter obviously Bitcoin ATMs are not dying um, they are not dead uh, I would even I would even wager that we are going to continue uh, to see Bitcoin ATM growth. Uh, I'm not saying that we maybe haven't plateaued in the near term, but but that doesn't mean anything. And this is why I tell people, listen, you got to zoom out, okay? And it, it's also it's also very interesting that you would see this type of FUD, right, at a at this specific time in the market when, let's face it, we're we're almost firing on all cylinders here. So, anyways, look. Par for the course, guys, you got to zoom out when you see articles like this telling you that something is falling apart. Uh, don't be afraid to go and try to find some worldwide stats on it to see is it is it really falling apart or am I just paying attention to this tiny little blip in time? Anyways, guys, that's the clip for today. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Put your comments below and I am going to catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow.